Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some new pack code to talk about for today on Thursday, Rewards Day, and this SBC that should be coming, guaranteed Summer Stars Team 1 player. That's an SBC that a lot of people have wanted to see this week since we saw a guaranteed SBC for PTG Team 1 and Team 2, and just that time of the year, right? EA put out the best content, put out good content. We kind of expect it, right? And looks like EA is going to come through. So I want to talk about that SBC, how I expect the market to be moving, especially with some of these Summer Stars cards and how their prices might be impacted by rewards today or by this SBC. So let's take a look at the pack code again, of course. This is what Footwatch tweeted tonight. It contains one Summer Stars player from the Summer Stars Team 1, a Summer Stars player SBC, right? Simple enough. We get what's going on here, and you'll understand, of course, how the market is going to react to this as well, right? We've been through this drill so many times already this year. Last year in FIFA, we know what's happening, right? People are going to go out. They're going to buy up some SBC fodder today at rewards. Now, the thing is, it's Thursday, right? So we have some supply coming to the market with fodder probably going to be dropping a little bit around that rewards time frame. But, of course, going to have some more demand heading into 6 p.m. UK with this SBC most likely dropping today. I mean, I really don't think they would drop it tomorrow when Team 2 is supposedly coming out in packs on Friday. But for today, Thursday, I think it has to be said and it has to be expected that this SBC will be released. All right. So now the next question is, what's this going to require? How much is it going to run you? Right. Because, of course... There's a very wide range here of prices inside of the Summer Stars Team 1. You've got Ronaldo, 4.25 million coins. You have got Messi uh, at 2 million coins for his card. But then you also have, I think there's literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different cards that are under 100,000 coins on as a part of this team. There's a lot of cards that are on the cheaper end of things, of course. Um, as you know, card prices are a lot cheaper now for later on in the game, but that really makes us wonder what is this SBC going to run you? I honestly, I'm, I'm really curious to see what EA does today because they know that people know that there's a 99 Messi available and a 99 Ronaldo and a 98 De Bruyne. And I think what they're going to do is they're going to reel people in. They're going to lure people in with that. Of course, thinking you're going to get the Ronaldo, the Messi, the De Bruyne. But, of course, a lot of us are going to be packing Locatelli, Phillips, Spinazzola, Christensen, Dumfries, those types of players. Um, so, again, how much is too much for this SBC? Well, I went back and looked at the Path to Glory Team 1 upgrade. Because, you know, Path to Glory cards, there were some low-tier ones. There were also some very expensive ones in Team 1. This required an 87-rated squad with one TOTS or Team of the Week player and 60 chemistry. Now, I think that is a bit high. I think for right now, especially with the current price of prices of fodder, I think that is a bit high. I really, really do. Now, fodder is, it is high, right? Fodder is definitely high, but I think fodder could drop a little bit today at rewards, and that might be a situation where if you had to or if you needed to buy a few cards, that would be a great opportunity to get in on maybe some of the 83, 84, 85s, maybe 86s that you could potentially need to get this SBC done. But I think if I had to guess that right now an 86-rated squad on FIFA will run you about 100 and... Well, an 86-rated squad with no team of the season or team of the week requirement, that would run you, run you right now about 180, 100, I think 170, 180,000 coins on this game. I think that's still a bit expensive. I really do. I really hope that the SBC today is an 85-rated squad and that they don't require a team of the season item because that an 85-rated squad is still going to run you somewhere around like 110,000 coins, I think, maybe a little, maybe even a little bit more than that. Uh, and I don't think a lot of people on FIFA would want to spend at least too much more than like 150k to get this SBC done. I mean, obviously it would be craftable because you've got player picks and stuff like that to get some fodder. And it would be craftable, of course, but... I think an 85 rated squad is just being too generous, right? I don't think EA is just going to give us that. I really think today that the sweet spot for this SBC would be an 86 rated squad. So if you want to get some 84s, 85s, 86s kind of loaded up, I guess put some in your club. That's not a terrible shout. I believe that those cards might be going up a little bit on the market since the announcement of this code. Um, you can see here the 86s basically have gone up a little bit, not much. They've gone up a little bit uh, since the announcement of this code. I do expect this, this stuff to come down, though, during rewards. I would expect to see these, these prices dip 
for the first hour, two or three, and then start rising up into 6 p.m. today on Thursday. Because again, I think we're really expecting this SPC to be dropped today. Again, because the Summer Stars Team 1 cards go out of packs. So we've done a lot of looking at stuff. Let's talk about these cards on the market. What's going to happen for the Summer Stars items, right? We talked about the SBC, but how are the actual cards going to be affected on this market? Now, of course, we've been talking about it for the past two days or so that I thought uh, like some of the cheapest prices for these cards would probably be today with rewards, with the supply. I'm still holding to that, right? De Bruyne has only a couple pages. There's four pages right now supply this card on the market. Um, he's going to get supplied today at rewards for sure. There's going to be more cards popping up onto the market as people pack these items tradable. That's going to number one, drop their price today. You're also going to have some people that want to buy these for their teams too. So that's going to be a little bit of demand. Maybe that will pick these prices back up a little bit, but also with the guaranteed SBC, especially for players like Isak, um, kind of in the middle range, um, you know, not a very expensive card probably something that's going to get packed a decent amount today with rewards and a decent amount from the guaranteed SBC. I would probably expect some of these cards to hit their absolute lowest during rewards or when the SBC content comes out at 6 p.m. today on Thursday. I think today is going to be the lowest day for a lot of these cards, at least for the next couple of days, a couple of weeks maybe, depending on how much hype there is. But these are the best cards in the game right now at the moment. They're the most hype. And of course, we have that 99 Ronaldo and 99 Messi that a lot of people are interested in. You know, I'd be very interested in this Laporte card too. I'd watch this card very closely at rewards because again, with the Spanish weakening objectives, some people might be shelling out the cash to go buy this Laporte card. And he seems pretty rare. He might be packed a decent amount from the guaranteed SBC today. I don't. I wouldn't expect it to be a lot though. So this Laporte card is one though that I think may not drop a ton at reward just because there's so much demand for him. Um, but I do. Th I could see his price picking it up a decent amount today because he just has a lot of hype in general. So again, a lot of these Summer Stars items, I think your low point is going to be today on Thursday. Some cards like the lower tier ones that might be their absolute cheapest um, when the guaranteed SBC drops, right? They might get, these cards might drop during rewards. They might go down. They might rebound back a little bit and then some of them could drop back down again with maybe new preview packs coming at 6 p.m. today on Thursday alongside of this guaranteed SBC. So I think that's kind of kind of be my thought process. Now, if it's somebody like a Cristiano Ronaldo, I really feel like these cards are going to get their lowest at rewards. And then after that, probably go up in price a little bit because, again, these cards are a lot more rare. And there's definitely some people that have their eyes on them. Since they're 99 rated, people want to get them. And these are going to be the quote unquote best cards that we'll see. Um, now, of course, if there are some insane cards that come out in Team 2, I'm not saying that some of these guys couldn't drop, right? Because, you know, if we get a Neymar Summer Stars item that is in Team 2, we're definitely going to see his Team of the Season card drop a lot in price. But, you know, how else could that affect the market in terms of, you know, the 99 Ronaldo and the 99 Messi if we were to get like a 97 or a 98 Neymar? I think that those prices could be affected next week too, depending on who comes out for Team 2. But your best bet is, especially for a guy like Laporte, you know, maybe even a Modric, uh, a De Bruyne, or even a Dumfries, right? Some of these cards are honestly like cheap for their fodder rating. Like I, I believe Dumfries might be one of the cheapest 94s. Now, high rated SBCs aren't like the talk of the town at the moment, but um, you can here see that Christensen is the cheapest 93 rated card by a good bit. The Dumfries is the cheapest 94 by a decent bit. Uh, you know, that's really, really high rated fodder. 91 Romero is one of the cheapest 91s besides Oblak and Lewandowski. Same thing with Bravo is a 92. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Maybe you buy one and you put it in your club if you haven't packed them or whatever. But um, I, I do just think that a lot of these cards are going to drop the rewards, but I think they're going to they're going to rebound up a little bit after that, too. And uh, yeah, this SBC today is going to be very interesting to see where EA prices it again it's the pricing on this sbc that makes me the most interested because also ea kind of knows they're smart right they're smart because yesterday what they did was they released an 87 plus sbc that basically uh if you did it you now have three cards in your club that are you know 87 or above even if you got a really bad pack you're looking at an 86 rated squad today maybe if that's the rating for the guaranteed sbc and you're like man I've got three cars that are 87 plus. I can put those in and make this SBC a lot easier for myself. Maybe go run a few player picks and boom, I've got this SBC sorted and figured out. See, that right there is what EA does all the time in this game to make it seem, you know, I can do this, right? It's not going to be that much for me. It's not. I've already got these cards in my club to do this SBC. So very smart from EA Sports 
if that was something you did yesterday, like I'm gonna use some of those high rated cards, depending on the rating of the SBC today, I'm gonna be using some of those that I have in my club to go and do uh, that guaranteed SBC today on Thursday. Now we did not see the Wednesday night upgrade for these live items, right? We were maybe expecting to see the Wednesday night upgrade into Thursday morning um, upgrade for some of these PTGs. That did not happen this week. So it really looks like they're gonna wait all the way until Friday to upgrade these cars. Now, of course, uh, with the final being set between Italy and England, you've of course got only a few live cards still going on. Of course, with the um, the Copa America final still set as well with Argentina and Brazil, you've got live items still uh, available there. But we've got a lot of cards that are, you know, some kind of even long gone out of the competition, like uh, a hazard upgrade that is still due, I believe. Uh, that's potentially not true. i am kind of lost track on some of these cards that are getting upgraded, to be honest. But like the Spain, Marcus Urente upgrade, that's from a long time ago, right? That's from, you know, multiple, multiple days ago. We've been waiting to see the upgrades of some of these cards. Some of the Italian cards, um, you know, Hazard is wrong. That's right. There's no more upgrades to Hazard because they lost to Italy. But the Italy, Italy's got two upgrades coming for them, right? Because Verratti's got to get the plus one and the five star, five star. Same thing with the Acuna. He's got to get two upgrades. Um, you know, so some of these cards are due multiple upgrades and we need to see those pretty soon. But I guess EA is going to wait until their time frame and upgrade them on Friday night. So that's kind of the situation uh, with some of these. I think, I believe actually that Phil Foden is due two upgrades as well uh, with the win against yesterday he should be going up to a plus two so this should be a 98 rated photo and he will meeks reach his max potential i believe because that is um the highest rating i think he could be or maybe yeah i think that is the highest rating he could be because he started off as a 94 got his plus two and now he's due another plus one and another plus one uh so yes he's basically maxed out at his plus four and then if they win again he would be getting a five-star skill move five-star weak foot i think uh so that would be crazy for the Phil Foden card, if they were to bring it home, um, of course, as you guys know, is the talk of the town at the moment. But that's kind of what's going on in FIFA. I, also, just for the market perspective today, I am expecting some of these Spanish cards to definitely go up in price a little bit. You know, taking a look at some of these most meta and most rare cards that people might be using in their weekend league teams. You know, maybe a guy like Jordi Alba, maybe a guy like Ansu Fati, Marcus Llorente, some of those best Spanish cards people might be buying to pick up because the weekly plus objectives, you might see some of those pick up on the market today. Other than that, I wouldn't expect really a huge market rise. We really haven't had big market rises on Thursdays for a while now, right? It's just been, you know, some things here or there. You could see some icons go up today if you wanted to try to trade and make some coins. Just get on some open bids on icons. Uh, that's what I would say. And then uh, flip those for later on today. But I think, again, a lot of the hype for today is going to be people buying up SBC fodder with their rewards coins and maybe some people that are wanting to buy up some of these Summer Stars items as well. Again, like we talked about De Bruyne 700k this guy's down 100,000 coins from where he was probably going to dip into the 600s decent amount today maybe like 650 or something like that we'll have to see what the supply is for these cards at rewards but then I think kicking up after that of course with the demand for these very colorful summer stars cards that a lot of people want to get in their Team. So that's the video for today, boys. Honestly, right? Today on Thursday, content wise, we're expecting that guaranteed SBC. We might be done with the player SBCs. We haven't had one for the last two days. Uh, yesterday was a quiet day of content with that 87 plus times three. Uh, we're still waiting on like the Spain nation players. I think that's one thing a lot of people are hoping for because Spain is, Spain is out of the competition and it'd be great timing from EA to drop the Spain nation player or players if they were going to do a set like they've done for Denmark. Um, before this weekend uh, with the weekend league extra requirements out there. So just a couple days left to do these SBCs. Of course, a lot of the stuff expiring on Friday as it usually is the weekend week out. A lot of the SBCs clear out before a new promo Friday where they want you focused on the brand new cards that are going to be released. Also, some uh, a new marquee matchups probably getting released today as well. That's going to supply the market a little bit with some coins and with some supply on these brand new promo cards at the 6 p.m. time frame. So again, it's gonna be kind of all over the place if you're looking to buy one of these brand new summer stars and time it perfectly. I feel like today is gonna to be a low day though. I think it's a low day for all these cards. I think we nailed that spot on. De Bruyne is now 690. So we'll see how low these cards go at rewards today 
with the supply. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, hit a thumbs up on it. Let me know down in the comments what you think the SBC rating for the guaranteed summer stars item is going to be today. And of course, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. But it's been Nathan for the Counting Boys. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>